John Chapman of the Huffington Post, you're watching his channel, and I have to say, for John and for me, thank God we're guys, because it's so easy for us to at least look presentable. You're the favorite going in here tonight. How are your nerves still? I mean, there's always, you know... Um, uh, you know, I think, uh, honestly, uh, uh, just to be here tonight, yeah. to be included uh, uh, with this group of nominees, with this group of movies, uh, I, I, it, it's such an honor that that's gotten me past the nerves. Anything else is just the cherry on top. Are you tempted at all to join Facebook now, or are you just, he <laughs> are you just dead set again? Because you've said no I, all along. I'm not along. militant about it. I'm not yeah. evangelical about yeah. uh, uh, not joining Facebook. The yeah. problem is I probably wouldn't know how to get there, yeah. uh, uh, is the thing. I wouldn't I, know the keys I'm to push I'm sure you could find someone who would help you, You're right? probably right, but do yeah. you really want to know that I bought a new shirt? <laughs> what if I said yes? I'm, okay. I'm sure I'm the weird guy, what, right? I'm going to Facebook, <laughs> just stay in contact with you. You've received so many accolades in your career, but I'm just curious, where does the Conan O'Brien F-Bomb Hall of Fame rank for you? <laughs> that is basically the most amazing recognition I ever had. Yeah. And you have to work hard for that. And yeah. you know what? I'm very, I'm close to Kevin Spacey. Which is it's not true. a joke. All right. <laughs> Say hi tonight, to man. Conan. Talk to me a little bit about sending the red carpet to the Oscars for a very, you know, a little film that it kind of just was a freight train that just kept going. But it, I mean, what are you guys thinking right now? I mean, besides the fact that I just asked you a question, everyone else has. What are we doing here? Uh, you know, I know. I mean, what we think is we. We're all weekend we've been together, we've had a reunion with other members of our cast and crew, we've been thinking about our next project, how we, how can we deliver another uh, love letter to the people that did support this film, you know, right. the cinema goers that like this film, we'd like to make more. Right. You know, we, we, we somehow found an audience through Roadside's incredible work, and we'd love to keep bringing the sugar home to that audience, right. you know, anything, any story that we could tell that would delight them, right. fulfill us in this world. In this world. Now, no, it's such a dark and kind of, you know, very deep movie. I mean, do you do you have, like, a urge to do a light comedy, you know? Or maybe resurrect the career of Pauly Shore, I don't know. No, we don't have that. Don't, don't do that, by the way. But, Please but, don't but do comedy, that. comedy, my God, comedy, that is the other side of, of, of surviving difficult things, right? It's, right? it's using humor as your ultimate armor, right? you know, against the things that are the vagaries of life, the things that... So we would love, I mean, working class humor. Right. We look to our UK masters, you know, we right. wonder how to get some of that in our work, of course. So, is there any of the nominated movies uh, <laughs> that you could picture Larry David maybe doing a better job with? Oh, um, yes, I think he would have been great in The Kids Are All Right. Yeah. Maybe as one of the uh, moms. Just just to stretch a little bit. I'm surprised you didn't go with King's Speech, because wasn't there an episode he did the stutter, King's right? Speech, yes. He would have done very well in King's Speech as well, yes, yes. Or the fighter, it would be fun to see him uh, in the ring. Uh, yeah, that's he's true. very tough. Yeah, he is. Very athletic. Very athletic. Very. So, do you have any favorite movies tonight? Like, uh, Well, I did love the King's Speech. I mean, yeah. I, I liked them all. The Social Network was great, but they're all good. I, yeah. I'm, the, I, I'm not a good judge. No? Because I like them all. Any movies that you don't want to see win tonight? <laughs> that question. Yeah. Um, no, I want them all to win. Safe. Safe. Yeah. I like what you did. <laughs> but please keep asking everyone that question. I will. I want to hear somebody answer it. Someone will. Yeah. Of all the movies nominated here tonight, which which one stuck out the most for you? Well, I really like King's Speech. Yeah. We'll see how it does, but I thought it was a great movie. Yeah. 
any of the other ones, you know, Black Swan or anything? I like Black Swan. Yeah. We liked it a lot, but yeah. we thought King's Speech. Are you a big movie goer? Do you uh, go off really. No? I don't have a lot of time. No? But we've had a good time. <laughs> Win or lose, uh, tonight's kind of a small victory anyway, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Are, you, are you noticing more and more attention for I the am. film? Yes. Yeah. And I think that the Golden Globe sort of really made a difference in that yeah. way because it suddenly gave a different kind of focus to the movie. Right. Now, someone was telling me that should you win, even though you just met me, you're going to thank me? Is that true? Because <laughs> I, I, it came as a surprise to me. <laughs> as a surprise to me, too. But well, let me tell you my name first, John Chapman, just, just in case. Just in case. Just, just in, in case. case yes. so if you win, yeah. yeah. It's actually a good omen. Among, among, the, um, among the list of like 150 just, people, I'll pull out just, in 40 seconds. Just throw it in. Someone who helped you like make the film, they can, you know, yeah. you can leave them off. <laughs> Do you have any favorite films of the year that you're excited to see tonight? Um, I like Blue Valentine a lot. I like Inside Job a lot. Yeah. Any movie you hope doesn't win anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> any, to, just to finish a film is already a, 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 you know, a huge effort. So anybody that finishes needs to be seen. <laughs> so talk to me. I know that you're about to... Uh, well, I don't want to say bed Leonardo DiCaprio, but... I mean, seriously... You probably have a little bit of a man crush on him, a little bit, so it kind of works, or no? I gotta say, it's hard to spend it's, it's hard to spend as much time as I do with that guy and not develop a man crush on him. He's no, an incredible dude. He's a good looking guy, but he, so are like you. Workforce. So I'm wondering. He works hard. He's yeah. Awesome. I'm wondering if he thinks the same thing. Like, oh, this is a pretty good looking guy. Because it could be worse. Like, he could be, I don't know, stuck with like Pauly Shore or something. Oh, okay. right? Oh, yeah, that would definitely be right? worse. Yeah, Andy Dick or something like Andy that. Andy Dick. Yeah. Oh, and he's annoying too. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> so talk to me. This is your first Oscars, right? Yeah. So, is Everything so far that you thought it would be, or you couldn't even dream it up at this I, point. I mean, I'm so new to this whole experience. I yeah. don't even have expectations. I didn't have dreams yeah. coming in. I'm just like this is a mystery to me. But it's turned out to be pretty damn all right. I gotta say. Yeah. Now, do you think that you know how the nature of the movie business is that there's there's a lot of repetition? So, do you think we can expect like a Friendster movie and like a MySpace movie? Oh, maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't bet on it though. I don't know. Classmates.com, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Her Heritage.com. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jade 8, yeah, yeah, so like that. I, I, I do feel an affinity for Oscar. I have, yeah. some I have eight of these those little boys yeah. at home, and, right. and I try to take good care of them. And come here to the Oscar Shrine and, and visit with them, you know. Are you running out of, out of room to put these things? I mean, because, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm volunteering. If, if you need, Thank you know. You. You can loan them for the weekend or something. Yeah, well, you know, we can loan them out. Sure. I live in Westchester. It'll be safe. They get lonely. For starters, I just want to tell you that you have a very legendary mustache. Oh, I keep... It depends on what the job is. I take it on and off all day long. Yeah. Well, I mean, do you, what do you make of the whole resurgence of the mustache? Well, like Darren Aronofsky has one. I like it. I'm trying to grow mine back again from a movie. I had to shave it off. Now I'm growing it back again. Yeah. I'm waiting for it to turn all white. And sick. Nice. Maybe a, maybe a month or two. It's a good luck, right? I like it. I earned every strand. Yes, you did. <laughs>